Ronaldo's subconscious ability has come from thousands of hours of practice, which have filled his mind with so many permutations of the game to tap into, that when it comes to match play, he has an uncanny ability to perform without having to think or even look at the ball. He is effectively a scholar of football. It's the same way as studying any other subject, learning a new language, anything like that. You build up experience, you learn the basic rules of grammar in the different words that are available to you. So in football terms, that's going to be the skills, then putting them into a match situation. And so as you become more fluent in the language, you don't need to think about it as much. So Ronaldo's vast experience gives him the ability to intuitively read the game under normal conditions. But what if the conditions are very far from normal? Can Ronaldo still hit the back of the net if all the lights are turned off and he's in complete darkness? OK, what we're going to do, we're going to have Andy feeding the balls in as if it's a cross, and then sometime in the ball flight, the lights are going to go black, so you won't be able to see anything at all. We're expecting you to be able to put the ball in the goal. That's what we're hoping will happen. We're hoping that you'll have picked up some advanced cues from Andy's body position, the shapes, the positioning of his feet and his hips, and therefore we'll be able to tell exactly where the ball's going to go and get yourself in the right position, even though you can't see it. OK. Taking Ronaldo on in the seemingly impossible test is an amateur footballer called Ronald. Come and join me, Ronald. Ronald, Ronaldo. So we've got Ronald in here, same age as you, roughly the same height. We're going to use Ronald as a comparison and see how he reacts doing this same test. Ronald is going first. Dark! <laughs> Light! Light! <laughs> so what does the night vision reveal? Ronald misses the ball by quite a way. Perhaps not that surprising. But can Ronaldo do any better? I hope to do once. <laughs> Dark! Light! Hey, that's one straight in the back. The night vision replay shows how differently Ronaldo performs. To confirm that wasn't just luck, another attempt. Dark! Light! Love that! Be careful. <laughs> and the replay? How hard is that? It's difficult because it's change a lot. Yeah. Because you are focusing on the ball and after non light you you have to try to to memorize the ball. Human reaction time is about 200 milliseconds and by 500 milliseconds Ronaldo's subconscious has interpreted Andy's body language, worked out which direction the ball will go in, calculated its speed and trajectory and then programmed his body to reach it at the optimum moment. Love that. It's almost as if they're doing maths in their head, even though they wouldn't be able to describe it to you. You could see from their performance that Ronaldo saw the first part of the ball flight information. He'd picked up information from Andy kicking the ball and was able to move his body into the correct position. This is because he's processed the information. He has experience of where the ball is likely to go. He's able to analyse all that as it's coming towards him and therefore connect successfully with the ball. Love that. <laughs> Ronald, on the other hand, doesn't have the same level of experience. He would have watched the ball fight. It's likely that he will just have had his eyes on the ball instead of picking up any information from Andy himself. And then when the lights go down and it's black, he's kind of stranded in no man's land a little bit and just has to do his best to react, but is naturally going to struggle with that. So far, the lights have been shut off when the ball is in midair. But now, the lights will be turned off just at the moment Andy kicks it. Can Ronaldo score with only Andy's body language to go on? Here you go, we'll get one. We good? Yeah, good. OK, Ronaldo. Dark! Light. 
like. Aye! Ronaldo pulling in. What was that, a shoulder? Tuck! <laughs> Great finish. Great finish. That was a great finish. This is great, because I, I imagine the ball is coming. I scared to go with the, with the face, so I'll go with half chest, half shoulder, and then put the ball inside. Quality, great finish. So, Zoe, tell me, how difficult is that? I mean, the last one, when we adjusted the time of the lighting. Yeah, it's so difficult. They've done studies like this using computer simulations, so you watch it on a computer and just have to say where the ball's going, and from then they can see that elite athletes can tell much earlier where the ball's coming from, but to have to actually produce a physical response when a ball is flying at you, then it's really good skills, amazing. Top man, that's ledge. Thank you. I was dreading I was going to hit you in your face with one of them balls. That was my worst fear. The test proves that Ronaldo can perform an almost impossible task. He can make decisions this quickly and with such little information to go on because in his subconscious he's an expert in the science involved. Ronaldo can tap into that knowledge, tap into his memory banks, and he can then use that to help him. So what you're saying, despite the location, because it's the first time being here, he's still recalling the pictures, what he's done previous before, and on other locations, maybe in matches and in training, and he's recalling all those messages, and then his brain saying, this is the execution. Exactly, and that's kind of the whole point of people training. Even though they can't train in a match environment, they can still take their experiences from the training ground, put it into practice in the match, take things from one match and utilise it in another, and even utilise things in a really strange situation like we've got here. In terms of the match, this means that instead of having to track the ball completely onto his foot, he could be scanning to see where the goalkeeper is, if there's any movement there, so he can then place his shot past where the goalkeeper might be. Well, it's, it's base of the, my success is to improve myself all the time. So this is why I'm one of the best players in the world. 